Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend love bonus reading for you. This is for Capricorn sign. This is applicable for singles, couples in a relationship or dating. This reading is for the weekend weekend bonus. Please universe, what can I get for the weekend? What is the information, insights ready for Capricorn to know? For the weekend, right? What is meant for them to know? What is ready for them to know? Capricorn sign. Your first card is the Knight of Swords. You've got the Star card in reverse. And the Empress card in um, reverse position. All right. So I'm really feeling like in the past, Capricorn, you've got this um, energy. Um, Nine of Swords. It means that, you know, this is overthinking. This is sometimes creating your fear because of overthinking. You could be stressed, unable to sleep, having a restless time sleeping uh, because you're thinking. Because y you've got a lot of things to process and the daytime is not enough for you to do that thinking. So you carry that over at night. This is cause of stress and anxiety. It could, I'm really feeling like, you know, Cap uh, Capricorn. It might be, it, it might not just be love. It might also be around friends or family. I'm really feeling like for you, Capricorn, there's some, there seems to be an energy for you that, you know, um, finding your identity, like finding where you belong kind of thing. Like you've been, it's, pr you're trying to connect with people practically and finding your tribe. I'm really feeling that it's, you know, it's not related to, to love romantic, but I'm feeling that vibe for you. Finding where you belong, you know, finding your ground, finding your earth, your earth sign. So finding that solid, safe home where you feel home. Um, so this is the nine of swords for you. And then the star card in reverse, you might be dealing with, a, with an Aquarius. Uh, this is again an Aquarius energy. So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you've got the Empress. Um yeah, I felt like this is the past. These two cards, it's more present going to future. So let me ask, what is the star card in reverse, please? Because I felt like this is, you know, present going to future, which is, um, I'm a bit sad to see that the star card in reverse because, uh, so um, when I was shuffling, this came along. So um, you're going to get some help. All right. Really picking up this is general, but you know. Please allow me to allow this reading to reflect love as well. So, um, yeah, so the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so it could be in the present to future. You're still not confident as to how things is going to work. Or you haven't really received the good news, a, an improvement, a progress, a reply, a response. Um, the star card in reverse is still, there's still... A need for healing forgiveness or it could be your hope is not so high that it will work remember we manifest sometimes our thoughts so if you're coming from the nine of swords which is worry pain and anxiety overthinking you might be carrying that negative thought or pessimistic up to now so that's why the card the, the star card is in reverse when I clarify the star card in reverse, what I got is the Knight of Pentacles, which, which means that this is um, an opportunity that you've been waiting for. This is this is a page, all right? It is a practical opportunity. It's not direct. It is, it is, it is, you know, it's it's an opportunity to connect, to reconnect. It's a message. It's a gesture. It's an action. It's not directly um, connected to love, but it's an opportunity. So, you know, it's the Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest moving night. It could be you offering this or them offering it to you. But it's really saying that you need to put your high, you, you need to put your hopes high, Capricorn. You need to, you know, increase your high vibration. I'm really being advised to increase your high vibration, to be more optimistic, no matter how bad the situation is. It's always going to be a solution. So increase your vibe. As I chant this um, this energy, you know, may you feel, increase your vibe. Be optimistic because health, situation, 
people, messages, insights will come along, all right? But you need to really call them up, all right? Because the more you you stay below pessimistic, negative, then this wouldn't come. It would just slow. It's like you've got help, you've got chances, opportunity, but you're pushing them away because your vibe is low. So you've got to increase the positivity around you. Keep yourself surrounded with happy thoughts. Pull it up, Capricorn, so that this night is drawn towards you. Help, opportunity, connection, reconnection, messages that you've been wanting for. All right? The Empress card. This is very futuristic. I'm being advised to tell you, Capricorn, that this Emperor card, Empress card in reverse, this is more of future. So I want you to work out with your present. You know, increase your high positive vibration so that we can counter this Empress because it's it's more futuristic. Please give us more message for Capricorn. Yeah, this could change. I'm really feeling like this could change if you start building the positive momentum now, presently, all right? Please, universe, what can I get for Capricorn? Positive momentum, positive message, please. Knight of Pentacles, what is this, please? Okay, there's going to be clarity about third party, all right? So, um, while this Knight of Pentacles, while this is progressing, this is coming along, third party is still there, hurt or pain is still there because your past is the Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, this is the Nine of Swords. So, you could still be at the present having a third party, painful or hurt, all right? But like what I said, this is the Ace of Swords, all right? The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Truth, the courage to cling on to positivity you know look at the hands you know it is and it's a bit i'm really feeling like this is a bandage you know it's the hand it's it's it, it's been burnt but you need to hold the sword so high up tight courage to face this three of swords all right this is the powerful sword the sword of truth hold it together even though you're hurt so that you can fight this hurt this pain this third party Regardless whether you'll be together or not, but you've got to hold the sword. You've got to hold the truth. You've got to be courageous. You've got to have that strength to move on. Keep moving. Because after the Ace of Swords, you've got stability. You still have friends with you, family with you. You still have, you know, a roof within you. There's still stability within you. Um, Inside this Four of Wands is a couple, all right? They're looking like... It's a bit distant, so there's still a space between the two of you, whether it could be physically or it could be you, you're not talking, but you're still inside this um, four of one structure. So cling, cling, or I want you to manifest that there is a structure. You're still inside a structure. You are, you know, there is... There is um, a foundation that you and this person created and it's a foundation that you can't just physically or um, emotionally or mentally destroy. You know, this is a foundation, a house and four of wands. What you have with this person is, a you know, you built strong foundation and it will take a while before this strong foundation is being destroyed. So, you know, I, this is what I want you to think, you know. This foundation that you built is being protected by the Ace of Swords. You know, if you look at this, this is a strong foundation. This is you. It could it could be it could be you or the person. Um, or it could be you yourself. You have a strong foundation to fight the three of swords, the pain, the hurt, the struggle. You just really have to hold on tight. You've got to hold on the ace of swords, you know. It's it's a bit heavy, it's tough to carry. But it's the sword of truth. It's the sword of courage. You've been hurt. You've been, you know, you've been injured like the hands in here. You've been injured. But, you know, keep standing up, you know. Because it will be, it will progress. It will be okay. Right now, you have dealt so much in the past. You know, nine of swords. You have dealt so much in the past. So don't think about the future right now. Just heal presently. Heal. Move on. Forgive. Face the truth. 
because this will allow you to clear your future all right and um what else yeah this is a very powerful reading capricorn um mars is gonna be in leo july 1 to august 18 it's a very um optimistic and courageous goal oriented kind of energy so i send you that vibe okay i'm giving you that vibe capricorn may you have the courage the strength and the brightness to um to keep this momentum with you all right so thank you capricorn it's been a pleasure doing this to you and i'll see you soon again have a great weekend bye